All right, welcome to my Frost Squad skin review. So this is the brand new skin that you can get today by completing 12 Operation Snowdown quests. Now, in addition, today's quest also gives you the Frosty Globes pickaxes, which look pretty uh, interesting to say the least. So I'm gonna do a full review on this skin as well as some gameplay. We'll see if it has any unique properties. So here she is in the locker. It says Ice Cold Tactics, Ice Cold Fashion, part of the Frosty Forest set. So let's see what we got. We've got a nice beanie. And then she's got those creepy dead trees all over her. So we recently got a glider that looked identical to this. So obviously it goes with her. Her pants, I don't know what all those little bedazzle type things are from her thighs on down. Are those supposed to be things on the tree? I don't know. That's creepy though. I'm not a big fan of that. She's got some nice blue and white gloves on though. Not a lot of color to this skin. Just a lot of gray or white and a little bit of blue. And that's about it. Now, luckily, we do get her actual pickaxes. These are called the Frosty Globes. And again, these can be unlocked today. It says Super Cold, Super Cursed. Interesting. They have a special splash effect, but we'll review those in-game as well. And like I said, she also has this glider that goes with her, too. Now, for a contrail, I went with Snowflakes. I think this was Season 7. Yes, yeah, Season 7 for this one. Now, for a wrap, she's basically white and blue. And it's an odd color blue. So there's a few you can choose from. I originally went with Frosty Glow here, but I think we could find a better one. I think this Falling Snow one might be good. It looks weird on the PlayStation 5. Hmm. I mean, she basically has the snow color and those tree limbs are pretty much black. So this might go well. We'll check that out. Now, the only dilemma here is she has no back bling. There's no back bling in the Frosty Forest set. You're gonna have to find one yourself or just run it with none. So what do we got here? The frozen iron cage actually goes pretty well because it's got that blue color that pretty much matches her boots down there as well as her gloves. So that's not bad. It's just, it's a bit out there. All those feathers on top, I don't know if I like that. Then you've got the frozen love wings, which again, kind of match that color. The frozen red shield also would be not too shabby there. The infinite bloom doesn't look that bad either. Now, I think most sword type back blings would also fit. That doesn't look too bad at all, in my opinion. Now, here's the new back blings from the Frost Legends set. Not a big fan of that one on her. That one's not too bad. Here's the other wings. Now, some of these Shadow Series ones kind of match as well. I don't know about this one, but this one looks pretty good. Look at that. Some of the PlayStation exclusive back blings also kind of match. Here's the one for Snow Mando. Eh. I guess you could go with the ornament back bling right here. Kind of strange, but it does fit. Maybe the snow crystal here. How about this one? Eh. I'm just trying to go for the Christmas or winter themed ones here. Here's Castle Peaks on her. It's kind of bulky. I think the cheery chime in blue doesn't look too bad. Yeah, definitely blue is the best. A lot of people say this one is supposed to go with her, the Shield Surprise, but again, it does not have her Frosty Forest set. And plus, it doesn't even match. White, green, and red? Come on. I don't know what to go with, to be honest, so I'm just gonna run no back bling just to see if these tree twigs on her back do anything. All right, so there's our loadout. Let's see what she looks like in game. All right, so here we go. I have not seen this glider yet either. It's called Winter Wing. Here we go. Okay, that was a nice deploy noise. Here it is again. Nothing is animated on it. Let's see if there's a contrail. There's a nice white contrail. Not quite a snow effect, but... So nothing really special about it. Doesn't make any noise. The trees on it don't do anything. I thought for sure it was animated. But it doesn't look to be the case. Maybe at night. I don't know. We'll try it again when the darkness approaches. Alright, so... Her legs almost are glowing. Whatever those things are. I don't know if that's supposed to represent snow or something on the trees. I have no idea what those speckle things are. I couldn't figure it out in the locker either. 
but they definitely glow. Let me spin her around. Yeah, it illuminates her entire bottom half of her legs. So like I said earlier, she's pretty bland. I'm very curious if anything glows at night on her. It'd be cool if these tree twigs just popped out, but it doesn't look like they would glow. Now surprisingly, she actually has a lot more blue than I thought. So in the locker, I couldn't see any blue on her hat, but look at that. There's a blue tinge on the top, and then near her arms are blue as well. So that's kind of cool. Now here's the wrap that I selected. It's the snow one. That's not too shabby. Do a little reload check here. I mean, you could probably do a blue wrap as well because she does have a lot more blue than I thought. So here's the pickaxes. Pull out noise. Now they're awfully blue as well. Look at the steam that comes off of those. Holy smokes. Let's see if there's a contrail. Yes, a nice light blue contrail. That's pretty sweet. And then splash effect, as we saw in the locker, we should have one. Yes, a nice blue, and then a little bit of ice smashing off as well. Pretty sweet. So not bad on the pickaxes. Let's see if they do anything other than steam. So they're like two giant snow globes. And it looks like there's a little wintry magic inside. You can see the snow, oops, I turned there. You can see the snow kind of falling down inside the globe. So that's kind of cool. All right, let's get a few eliminations just to see if anything is secretly reactive here while we wait for the sun to go down. Mm, I did not see anything happen there. Let's try again. I tried to hit fire for the last shot. Oops. <laughs> well, I normally try to hit fire for the last shot so we can zoom out and see if anything happens. I don't really see any effect. I'll just get these last two eliminations and we'll go from there. Nope, nothing seems to change at all. Now that was five eliminations and no change whatsoever. All right, here we go. Here comes nighttime. Let's see if we glow at all. Well, her legs definitely stand out more. So does the blue. And hey, look how nice her bright legs look now. Here's the pickaxes. Well, much like everything else in the game, this skin looks nicer at night. Spin her around real quick. And the blue stands out more. Her legs illuminate with almost a frosty snow effect. So that's pretty neat. Let's respawn and check out the glider one more time. Here we go. Glider is about the same. Just like the skin though, the blue stands out a lot more at nighttime. I'm kind of disappointed these trees don't do anything. I thought for sure they would illuminate or stand out somehow or do something. What is the point of the trees? Why is she part of the frosty forest? I don't know. So there you go, that's about all there is to it for this brand new free skin. A lot of people are worried. You know what happens when we get free skins? They become the sweaty, sweaty tryhard skins. So everyone's already started asking, is this gonna be the next tryhard skin? It's a female skin, it's slender, it's free. Those three attributes usually equal sweaty tryhard skins. So be forewarned. Not bad though, for a free skin, you can't really complain that much. It's pretty unique, it's just a little bland. The good thing about this skin is that it's not really Christmas themed. Yes, it's white, it does have a little frosty effect to it, but you could totally run this year round. It's not exclusive to Christmas like some of these other skins. Like for example, the Snowmando skin, it's a snowman. You don't wanna run that in July, that would be dumb. But this one, I mean, I've seen people wear beanies in summer before. I don't know though, I just thought I'd throw that observation out that it's not really Christmassy. The pickaxe, maybe, but you could always replace those. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.